Good morning, guys. It's 9 o'clock. Just hanging out with the babies. It's been a rough morning. Sydney slept till 8. But Tristan is being very ornery today. He's already been in timeout three times. He tried to bite Sydney for a toy, and I like put my hand over her hand with the toy in between, and he bit me. And not super hard, but the point is that he bit me, which is not okay. And so we went in timeout for that. And then he pulled a fit and wouldn't say sorry, so we went in timeout again. And mind you, timeout's one minute, but uh, still, I don't like putting him in timeout. But it's the only way I know how to. I don't know, help help change his behavior because she doesn't do any of this and I feel so bad because I feel like it seems like I'm picking on him or only he gets in trouble, but she doesn't do this. If she bites, which she hasn't in a long time, then um, I would put her in timeout. But we, she doesn't bite. She occasionally will take a toy from him or try to and I give it back and then she like might cry for a second and then just goes away. She just lets it be. She doesn't go on and on and it happens very rarely and I'm not surprised that it happens because he does it to her so much that of course she is doing the same thing. But like I said, it's so far and few between that she just, it's not, I don't know, I just don't, I don't understand. I parent them the same way. I don't know why he is so different. He can be so sweet and lovey but then he will just like have to have everything she has and he waits and he picks on her and he can just be mean pull at her he'll squeeze her arm he'll push her down he'll pull her hair i i don't understand it and whereas when he's upset or even not she'll go up and pat his back and pet his we always say nice and so she'll pet his head or pat his head or pat his back and she's so sweet i don't know it's just craziness but I am making a smoothie for him because he's been a terrible eater lately. I don't know what to do for him. She was hungry as soon as she got up, so I made breakfast and she chowed. I offered like four different items and pouches. He ate a little bit of the pouch. So yesterday he loved the smoothie and actually had seconds. So at least he's getting some fruits and some spinach. So I'm going to try this and see if he'll eat it but I just put this is I got some frozen fruit from uh, Walmart on a grocery shopping so I got strawberries and peaches and I'm gonna put some spinach in it, I gotta do this early enough because it definitely made them both so poopy yesterday so we're gonna do some of that we'll do some orange juice but that's all that's going on. We're going to hang home again today. It is freezing rain outside and so it's just like a sheet of ice out there and there's no point to take them out in it so I don't have any reason to anyway. So we're just going to stay home and hang out and play and I've got to work on some editing. And that's about it. That's our day. It kind of sucks. It doesn't even feel like we had a weekend with Jeff because on Saturday he had to work. What, he went in for three or four hours. And then on um, yesterday it was payroll. So he worked on that for like three and a half hours. And he did most of it during the time when they were napping, but still, it just it sucks because then we don't get to hang out and he's in work mode and he's constantly thinking about work. And then on top of that, he already gets, you know, phone calls and stuff, so it does not feel at all like we got a weekend. So since next weekend is not a payroll weekend, I am just praying that he can actually be hanging with us and not having to worry about work. Because it sucks. And I know it sucks for him. And I was upset the other day about it. And I know it sucks for him. So I have to have more patience. But this is happening right now. He tried to take the sponge ball from Sydney. And I grabbed it. And so she was on my lap. And he was in front. And he tried to bite her again. But my fingers were there. And he bit down. And even after I said no, he bit down more. So he's in timeout right now. Crying because he's upset. I'm going to sit down and go potty. So every time I have to go potty. I bring the babes, whoever wants to come in, I don't force them, I just tell them I'm going to go potty. 
Tristan likes to come on it more than her, or just does. And so they'll sit on the potty, and I'll say, we're peeing, and then I'll say, we have to wipe, we have to flush, we have to close the lid, okay, let's wash our hands. And they're doing good, we've been doing it since we got the potty. So you guys know I've taught the babies baby sign, we do like basic milk, eat, please, thank you, more, that kind of thing. So I really like it. I like that they can communicate a little bit with us and tell us things. We've had a lot of tantrums and them trying to communicate probably and getting frustrated. So I know that baby sign, which is why I started it, really helps with eliminating tantrums because you can communicate better with your child or children before they're able to speak and, and tell you what you need. So today, or so, I pulled out my sign language baby sign books that I had purchased when I was pregnant with them. And I want to be better because they just soak things up like sponges. So I told Jeff we need to be better and teach them, teach them new words. So I'm going to do three new words a week, or three new signs a week. This week we are going to teach hot, which you go like this, hot. And because of the fireplace and just different things, they know how to say it. Um... Or he does, but I want them to understand, her to understand. So hot and uh, hurt. We started that today because he hurt mommy twice by biting her. So hurt, I can't really show you, but you go like this with your two fingers. So your other finger, you do the same way and then meet at each other. And then, we, mm -hmm, and then I'm reintroducing water. I used to do it all the time when they were babies. And he goes like this for water. Water is hot. So he understands it, so I'm, I'm doing, actually I guess four, because they I, they already know water, but they don't use it, if you, they probably, they understand it. So water and drink. Water, drink, hurt, and hot. So those are the words this week that we are teaching them, and I figure if we can keep on with this of teaching them a few new words each week, maybe we can lessen the tantrums I brought up a lot about baby sign when I was pregnant and so many parents said that it just really eliminates tantrums that you can communicate more. So I want to do words that will help. Like one of them I've got to do is either I can't or broken or somehow teach them that because something they get really frustrated about is if they hand me a toy and I can't do what they want me to. Like example there's all these baby toys and some of the lids come off of the bottles and some don't so when they hand me a bottle that the lid won't come off they get really frustrated and I, I tell them all done because that's all they know like, all done I can't I, it won't I'll say that to them and they get so frustrated so I want to try to help in our communication barrier right now to eliminate all these tantrums that are happening and just make things a little bit smoother because I mean the past few days have been wonderful I was saying last night how good it was I think I jinxed us because this morning he's been a bear yes you have been a little tough dude how come what's going on with you today are you just having a rough day you feeling feisty finally he's at least playing by himself and or playing period because all he's done is follow me around and whine or want whatever Sydney has and whine so we came up here to play for a bit so I'm bummed at the grocery store I had got these they're vegan jerky and I got barbecue and teriyaki and I don't know maybe the barbecue is better and I didn't think it would be a problem being that it's let's see is it old no February. I mean, it sells a month. Anyways, this smells and tastes like cat food. I was going to give it to the babies. I thought it would be softer to chew because it was, um, basically it's tofu. So, ugh, it is disgusting. Terrible. I tasted it to make sure it wasn't spicy and it was easy to eat. I thought it would be like softer. No, it's harder to eat than deer jerky or what was the other stuff we got? Where is it? Oh, I think it's gone. But a different kind of beef jerky stick that was not greasy like Slim Jim or anything. And those tasted good and were easy and soft for the babies to eat. These are chewy and like overly, not even spicy. They just smell like cat food and taste like cat food. I had to spit it out. 
and I still like the thought of it just makes me want to throw up. It was disgusting! I'm gonna be bad and I'm gonna save this disgusting cat smelling tasting jerky vegan jerky for Jeff and he'll let it taste so good he has to try it and then I'll film it and he'll make a funny face I'm sure I know that's so mean but I think it's funny do you hear that I do not know what his deal is these days it's 12 30 definitely tired it's been five ish five and a half hours since he woke up so again we did bath we did lunch he's already slowing down but he doesn't cry long, it's just a few minutes, I just don't understand it, he used to go right down. The only difference is I haven't been giving him a water cup to bed because he wasn't drinking it or he was telling me no. So the only thing I can think of that I might start trying is either a milk cup or water cup for nap only. But like I said, at, at bedtime he doesn't, he doesn't do that. And he's quiet already as I speak to you. I came downstairs through in the load and, and then picked you guys up. So that's how little he cries. I just don't understand why he cries. And he had his binky, his dog, his blankie. He was tired. Poor little duty. Hey guys. We just had to wake up sister. It's already almost 4 o'clock. Hi, huh, you were sleepy. Bub's been awake since 2.30. Oh, Even though that was a good nap. It was oh, 2 hours, God. but it went by way too fast. I was just trying to get some things done and I swear it was like just the snap of the fingers, that's how fast it was. And he was up awake hollering at me, so. We've been hanging out, we've been watching. They love Casper Baby Pants. He's a singer from Seattle that we found when I was nannying, actually one of the parents told me about him. That's how I found out. And so when the babies were like just a little, we took him to one of his shows at a bookstore there. And I wish that they were, I wanted to try to go there when we visited Washington. Because Tristan loves music and he dances to everything. Well anyways, he makes, he has videos on YouTube, m music videos to his songs. And it has like, a, um, the videos are very kid friendly. And, they love him, and so me and him have been down there watching music video after music video of his little songs, and I messaged him on Facebook and told him on his Facebook fan page that he should make a DVD of all the music videos, because they love it so much, it'd be a great car DVD, because it would be the music, which we listen to already in the car, but then it would be the music video, which they love, so I think it would be cool, actually. If he did, we'll see if he responds or not, but we just came upstairs to get sister and we're hanging out. I'm letting him have a snack, even though Tristan ate. I made a sandwich for myself because I, I didn't even get to shower. I didn't eat or anything. I was just doing some things on the computer and before I knew it, like I said, he was awake even though it had been two hours. So I made myself a sandwich and he ended up eating almost the whole half, which I was totally okay with and fine because he's been a terrible eater lately. And the fact that he was just chowing like back to himself, I was like, yay. And that would hopefully help his mood because I know when I'm hungry, anyone's hungry, you get kind of grumpy and irritable and stuff. So he's just been not a very good eater lately, not, which is not like him at all. Can you not do that, please? Their favorite thing to do at this table is there's a little hole in the middle where the umbrella goes and Jeff plays with them and like puts toothbrushes or things through it. Well, now that's what they do with their food. I just started allowing them to have snacks up here. Or, I guess not allowing them to just started having snacks up here since I brought the table up here because we are back to hang upstairs quite a bit just to change things up and because it's warmer upstairs. So... Jeff should be home in the next hour or so, I assume. I asked him to stop by the store on his way home because I do not feel like going out, packing up and going out in the cold and getting ready just for that. So he's going to pick me up some creamer. I'm going to have creamer, or at least the creamer I like. I have that disgusting tasting creamer in the fridge, but I don't want it. Are you okay? Did you bite wrong? And then um, some cauliflower so that I can make some cauliflower mash for dinner with our steak. So that's the plan. The babies really loved it. Gosh, the last time I made it was... Oh, excuse you! You just tooted on Mama! 
Did you just toot on Mama? Did you just toot on Mama? Man, he ripped it. Uh, so, the last time I think I even made it was in Washington, so it's been a long time, and they love it. It's just, you steam cauliflower, and then you mix the cauliflower and some cream cheese. Boom, boom, done. It's super delicious. Everyone likes it. And so, I'm trying to be better, cook better, cook, cook more, I guess. We, for a while there, were doing, like, quick, easy things. So it was freezer, processed, or not like well-rounded meals I mean we've always done pretty good for them but I will admit that I have fed them way more like processed foods and fast food and stuff than I had planned or wanted and it just sometimes you go with what's easier or what's quick or you know whatever so just with this new year I'm not like we don't have I'm not trying to lose weight obviously I'm gonna have you know, hopefully be pregnant next month, but I just want to be and provide healthier things for my family and myself. So when I grocery shopped this round last time, I got a lot better things in the house. I've started doing smoothies and uh, doing less, you know, freezer stuff and just doing the real deal. So I'm happy about that. Jeff's home from work and he's doing what he used to do when we had dogs to our children. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Bubby? Why they think it's funny, I have no idea. And I always tell them not to do this, but they started laughing so hard. How can you not laugh? What is that, Tristan? Where'd it go? <laughs> Do you see Jeff giggling over there like a little boy? Where'd it go? Oh, it's on the ceiling. <laughs> Jeff's trying to contain himself. If I wasn't filming right now, he'd be laughing so hard he'd be crying. But he's trying to keep quiet. Make it over quick though. That's good, guys. Well, we can make it happen. Daddy, put it away now. Daddy's all done. <clears throat> Going on. Try that. Why, why are you filming it? So yeah. Jessica was trying to teriyaki. Yeah. And I was telling I'm you guys. I'm out of beer. Do I need a beer? You have some. Yeah. I was telling you guys about that teriyaki earlier. I no, told Jeff he should try it. It doesn't even feel right. You can you tell it's. Oh no, it's, it's not that at all. That stinks, man. Try you it. I really have to try it. A yeah. big piece? Try it. That's no. up to you. What do you think it smells like? It smells like cat food, huh? It was wretched, I thought. I could not believe it. That's why it's in a bag. I told him I was going to film it while you ate it to see your reaction. Cause it's not as I wretched as some of the things we ate. Oh, I think it's terrible. I think it smells yeah. like cat food. I kept feeling like every time I thought of it and the taste, like I wanted to throw up. Yeah, it's gross, eh? And I'm up for it. Yeah. Told you. It's like a terrible aftertaste. Yeah. What's in it? I don't know. I think it's, and I don't even think I was telling them it's not even the fact that it's vegan or tofu or whatever. The taste of the teriyaki is it's the most wretched teriyaki. flavor I've ever tasted. Ah. I'm so mean. <laughs> you clunk, clunk. I don't know if kitty toots or fishy toots, but I know doggy toots. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's toots are loud. <laughs> Mommy's toots are quiet. Did someone toot? <laughs> I toot when I have to go potty. Plop! Yay! I toot when I have a tummy ache. I feel better. <laughs> I toot in the tubby. It's so bubbly. Hey guys! This is uncomfortable. I feel like I have a double chin. 
All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. Jeffy here is tired, falling asleep on the bean bag while I'm editing. He's supposed to be watching his horrible, wretched show. It's a great show. It is not. Game every, of Thrones. No, every time I look up at the show, there's, like, some weird sex scene or torture or sawing off a foot or something disgusting. It's terrible. I'm glad I'm not watching it, but he likes it, so whatever. <laughs> so we're heading to bed. I'm going to keep on editing, and he's going to pass out and snore. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.